Good day everyone. This is Maria Jonalyn Vida La Merced, your instructor in IT 111. So I created this video as a pre-recorded lecture video in the form of Q&A which talks about the lessons that you should learn in our module 2 which contains the topics in chapter 2. Okay. So chapter 2 is entitled as Evolution of Computing. So, I am hoping that before you watch this video, before you listen to my lectures in here, um, you've already read the content of Module 2. Okay, so the content of the following slides are possible questions that you may want to ask after reading the contents. Of that module and my answers to these questions also serves as an explanation for our topics okay so let's take question number one what is a computer okay for common people for normal for normal people hi a computer is a gadget used as a channel for communication say for example our laptop Okay. In the previous years, in the past years, uh, we can communicate to our loved ones in distance okay, through Skype. Okay. We're in Skype is only accessible uh, using our laptops okay, in the past years. Okay. And then Skype kasi is a platform wherein we can do video calls. Okay. So we can see our loved ones, okay, digital video, okay, um, and others use our computers such as cell phones, okay, uh, to communicate again via text messages, okay, via phone calls, okay. So, teacher, computer, smartphones, is it computer? Okay. So, siguro, uh, ang pagkakaalam pa lang ng iba sa atin, sa inyo, ang computer is our laptop. Yun na yun. O kaya, computer unit. Yun na yun. Okay? So, hindi. Ang computer is any computing devices. Computing devices. So, yung laptop natin, yung desktop natin, okay, those are samples only. No, ng computer. Smartphones, tablets are also computers. They are computing devices. Calculators. Okay, why? Because it computes numerics, numericals. Right? So, it is a computer. Okay, so a computer is any device that computes. Okay. Okay, another definition here. For normal people, computer makes the work easier. Say, for example, for documentation. So, this um, concepts naman talaga is the reason why computers exist. Okay? For communication channel, to make our work easier. So, in, dati, nagsusulat tayo okay, sa blackboard, nung face-to-face. -face. Okay? Ngayong um, Distance learning, buti na lang meron tayong computers wherein your instructors, us, can make our lectures okay, using different platforms such as this one, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, and then we'll deliver it to you via recorded uh, video like this one and also via um, Google Meet, wherein we are conducting synchronous meetings. Okay. Next, okay, to search information. Okay. Using our browsers, okay, with an internet connection, then we could search, okay, an information for a certain topic or things uh, you want to know about. Okay, so click lang natin, open lang natin ang browser, and then magta-type lang tayo sa search bar, and then click the search icon, magpa-provide na si computing device ng information. Okay, that is for uh, common people, mga normal people lang, yung hindi 
nag-aaral ng IT, hindi nag-aaral ng mga computer courses. Okay. Ano naman ang ibig sabihin ng computer para sa mga IT or computer experts or computer students like you? Okay. It is a device to process data. Okay? From input, from manipulation or process, and then sa output. A computer can also store and retrieve data. Okay? You are still in your first year level in IT course, but okay, upon um, taking your other subjects, also this subject, okay, you will learn more if ano ba talaga ang computer. Okay, so sabi dyan, from input, so ang computing devices pala is ginagamit para makapag-input ng data. Ang computing devices pala ay ginagamit para ma-process niya yung data na in-input ng user. And, okay, sa kagalingan ng teknolohiya, ang computer pala ay nakakapag-provide din ng output. So, it's it can be a software output or a hardware output. Okay, or hardware copy, hard copy. Okay, and it could also store and retrieve data. So, uh, significant of storage naman ito. Okay. Next, it provide useful information. So, yun, for common people kanina, uh, they could search information. Dito naman sa atin, okay, ang definition natin para doon is provide useful information. Okay? And then, can solve problems. Ano yung mga problems na yan? Okay, um, we can say yung paano mababasa ng computer yung in-input ni user na letter A. ba? Kasi pinindot mo lang siya. Bakit nag-show na siya doon sa monitor ni computer? Okay, that's just a simple problem. Okay, meron pang mas complicated but, okay, kayang-kaya ng ating mga computing devices, of course, with the help of human wear. Okay, so, you will learn more about that later. Okay, next question. How are we benefited from using a computer? First, it increases productivity. Okay, so, from manual to digital processes. Okay, uh, wag na tayong lumayo sa edukasyon na tayo. Okay, so, kung dati face-to-face -face, nagsusulat tayo sa blackboard, okay, di ba? Kapag ka nagsusulat pa si teacher o kaya yung secretary sa klase, okay, Yung ibang teachers, isinasabay ng explanation. But, most of them, okay, ay inaantay mo nang matapos yung pagsusulat bago mag-explain. So, ilang minuto yung nare-render sa pagsusulat. Okay? Tapos, ilang minuto na lang yung um, magagamit ni teacher para maituro sa inyo anong ibig sabihin ng mga nakasulat. Okay. And another example there is, kunwari, um, gumamit tayo ng isang word processing platform. So, yung basic lang na alam mo is magtatay ka. Okay. But upon using the product, okay, your knowledge and skills increases. So, ah, pwede ko palang palakihin itong font ng isinulat ko. Ah, pwede ko palang palitan yung kulay niya. Ah, pwede pala akong maglagay ng other media like images. Okay, so it increases one's productivity. Okay, next, it connects to the internet. So, kung dati, gamit ang ating mga cell phones, um, we can communicate from our loved ones in distance via text messages. Okay, so ngayon, um, pwede na natin silang tawagan gamit ang messenger or Skype na kung saan hindi lang natin sila makakausap kundi makikita pa natin sila. Okay, so mas pinalapit tayo ng uh, computer sa ating mga mahal sa buhay using internet connection. So katulad ng na-discuss natin sa chapter 1, okay, cloud computing. Kasi de ba sabi natin, ang cloud computing is computing uh, via internet connection. Ibig sabihin, we are using cloud services okay, with internet connection.
connection. Okay? Sa so storage, it keep our information secured and accessible. So, um, kung i-compare natin siya sa manual, okay, ang daming tambak na mga papel. Diba? And then, ifa-file natin siya sa cabinet. So, kung iaano natin siya sa computer, mas malinis tignan kasi nandun doon lang siya sa system storage. Okay? And then, uh, mas organized pa. Okay? Yung uh, pagkaka-store. And kung i-retrieve natin yung data na yan, yung file na yan, mabilis na ibibigay or maipoprovide sa atin ng computing devices natin. Compared sa manual na Kapag hinanap natin yung file na ganito, so hahalong katin pa natin siya. Medyo matrabaho. Okay. Pagdating naman sa yan, sa so organized data and information yon sa management. So kung kailangan mo siyang isort, di ba? Ganun naman talaga ang mga files in manual kung sino yung, kung alin yung mga papel ng section C. Okay, dito siya sa isang cabinet. Kung alin ang mga papel ng section A, dito naman siya sa kabilang um, cabinet. So, ganun din sa computing devices. Mas maayos nga lang, okay, at mas maganda yung flow ng pagre-retrieve natin. Mas madali. Okay. And ayan, yung availability niya. So, kapag ka, uh, hinanap mo siya, magpapakita siya agad-agad. Okay. Then, improves your abilities. Okay. From manual to computer literacy. So, at din yung parang um, explanation ko kanina sa increases productivity. Okay. So, kung ano yung ginagawa natin manually na um, implication is yung oras, okay, yung mga factors na mas, kumbaga, nararamdaman natin yung difficulty. Okay, especially sa time talaga, time management. Okay, but because we have computers, ayan. So, malalaman na natin kung paano mas mapapadali, mas mapapaikli yung oras or mas uh, magagawa ng mas mabilis yung isang work. Okay, so and then uh, another sample dyan is kunwari, um... Yun naman sa presentation. So, kanina sa word processing uh, platform tayo. Sa mga presentations naman, since it is named as presentation, okay, kunwari meron kang presentation, hindi na lang basta-basta magta-type ka, okay, sige, nandiyan na lahat ng data na i-type mo na. So, to make it presentable, okay, gagawan mo siya ng onting style. So, nag improve yung iyong computer uh, abilities. Okay, or computer computer literacy na tinatawag natin. And then mas naaalam na lalaman mo kung ano pa yung gamit ng iba't ibang platform. Okay? Yan. Platform environment literacy. So yun yung kanina. And then assist the physically challenge. Okay. People with disabilities can go with the trends because of computer. Okay? So Ma'am, paano po yung mga blind? Okay, yung mga, yun nga, physically challenged na mga tao. Okay? So, luckily, ang computers natin, hindi lang siya basta merong output sa monitor. Okay? Meron din siyang speakers wherein blinds can get information. Okay? So, via audio, ayan, audio output, mapapakinggan niya kung ano yung uh, mga nilalaman ng isang platform. Okay. And then, of course, keeps you entertained sa mga normal or common people. Ayan, ginagamit natin ang computing devices for communication, for listening sa mga music, sa panonood ng mga videos, ganyan. ba? For us naman, computer experts, ganyan, it is to boost up skills. Okay? Kasi, uh, eager kang gumawa eh. Eager kang tumulong sa mga tao upang mas mapadali pa yung work nila. Okay? Katulad nga ng sabi natin sa introduction natin, we IT, okay, you, IT students, main objective is to develop a system, 
okay, or to conduct a research to solve an existing problem. Okay. Next question. How do the four basic functions of computing works? Ano-ano ba yung mga four functions na yan? So, alam ko na alam nyo na kung ano-ano yung mga yun kasi nailagay na yan sa ating module. Ngayon, sasagutin na lang natin kung ano ba. Okay? Yung uh, kung paano sila uh, gumana. Okay? Kung ano ba ang work nila sa computer system. Okay? First, input function. Okay? Data information, okay, like text, images, or commands. Ibig sabihin, tayong user, okay, tayo pala yung nag-i-input. Okay, so ano-ano yung mga ini-input natin? Mga text galing sa keyboard. Okay, images galing sa mga portable cameras natin. Okay, or even commands. Okay, from the keyboard din yung Ctrl S for save, Ctrl V, for paste, okay, those are commands. And even yung ating uh, mouse and then yet the touchpad, yung paggalaw ng cursor mo, okay, those are commands and those are input commands. Okay. Next, data processing function. Okay, so these are the methods or the actions. Manipulation of data input or response to the command. Okay. So, ano yung uh, pinindot ng user? Kunwari, letter A. So, doon sa data process, okay, kasi ang language na alam ng computers natin ay binary. So, yan yung 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. So, pag pinindot mo yung letter A, hindi siya letter A na babasahin ng ating um, computer. So, it's a set of binary numbers. Okay? And then, ganun din sa mga command. Yung kapag ka-prenes mo yung um, right button ng iyong mouse. Kunwari. Diba? O kaya, um, inilipat-lipat mo yung cursor. So, yun, yung mga command na pinaprocess ni uh, eto, sa data processing function natin. Okay. After ng data process, okay, next dyan ang output function. So, it prints soft or hard copy of information like text and images and respond to the commands. Okay. So, kunwari, ang ginawa mo is sa platform na word processing. Okay. So, nag-type ka doon. Sa Microsoft Word, kunwari, nag-type-type ka. Okay. And then, um, kailangan mo siyang i-print out para ipasa sa teacher mo. Okay? So, gagamit ka ngayon ng peripheral device na printer. Okay? And then, ipaprocess mo na, bibigyan mo ng command yung computer system na i-print itong file na ginawa mo. And then, after that, kung ano man yung na-produce ni printer, yun na yung sinasabi nating hard copy of information. So, yun na yung output ng computer mo. Okay? Kung ano yung in-input mo, okay, and then you want to print it, ang tawag na doon is output. Okay? And then, next is the response to the commands. Okay? Kunwari, yung uh, i-highlight mo tong content ng slides na to. Okay? And then, ikakopy mo siya. So, pinaprocess na niya sa copying. Okay? And then, lilipat ka sa slides sa isang slides, and then, ipipaste mo siya. Control V. So, kung ano man yung na paste okay, yun yung output ng command. Okay, kasi ipinaste na niya. Ang command mo sa computer system, kopyahin mo to, okay, and then, ipaste mo sa ganitong slide. Okay. Next natin is storage function. Okay, saving of input, data processed, and output results of computing works. Okay, so we, you will learn more about this later. Kasi sa storage function, hindi lang siya dun sa basta um, nagsisave ka ng mga files, sa mga flash drive mo, ganyan. Yung mga processes natin, meron ding sariling storage yan. Okay, particularly RAM. Okay, so you will learn more about it later. Next question. 
how does the following characteristics contributes to how computer works? Okay, first, the speed. Okay, it meant to do work faster. Siyempre, di ba, sabi nga natin, ang main goal nga ng mga computer experts, kaya nila ginawa ang computing devices, is to make the work of human faster. So, kung mabagal yan, okay, um, hindi ma-achieve yung goal natin na padaliin ang trabaho ng mga tao. Say, for example, nag-search ka ng file sa file manager mo, eh, ang bagal mag-render. So, yung minuto na pagre-render nung computing device mo na yan, kung i-compare mo sa manual, okay, baka mas mabilis na yung paghahalongkat na lang ng files ng hard copies. Diba? So, hindi magiging effective yung computing device mo if um, it has a low speed. Okay? Next, accuracy. Meant to give work conveniences. Okay, syempre, ayan nga. So, kung sa manual hassle, ibig sabihin, yung teknolohiya na ginawa mo, okay, dapat uh, convenient. Okay? So, hindi na siya yung meron pang magpapakitang kung ano-ano na uh, ipinoprovide kung ang input mo naman is pag i-input ng mga letters sa mga word processing. Okay. Hindi pwedeng habang nag input ka, meron dyan ang nagpapakitang um, work na kung saan merong search bars. Okay. Kung pang word processing lang siya, kung ano lang yung main concept ng word processing, yun lang ang ilagay mo. Unless medyo malaki yung system mo. Depende pa rin naman kasi yan sa users. Okay? Diligence. Meant to work for any calculation processes. Computing devices na. Ibig sabihin, it, it can calculate not only numbers, but data. Okay? Versatility. Meant to do different tasks simultaneously. Okay? So, kung sa manual, um, kapag uh, nagahanap tayo ng files, yun lang talaga ang magagawa natin. Using our computer devices, okay, kapag uh, nagsusearch ka sa isang platform, habang nagre-render yung searching, pwede ka pang mag-work okay, sa ibang platform. Okay, kunwari, gumagawa ka ng lesson mo okay, or ng project mo. So, habang nag input ka sa word processing uh, platform mo, okay, pwede ka rin mag-search okay, sa browser mo. So, pwedeng dalawa sila ang naka-open. Okay, yung Microsoft Word mo, pwedeng naka-open, pwede rin naka-open yung browser mo. So, it can do uh, different tasks. Power of remembering. Okay. Meant to store data and gives it back to the user as needed. So, uh, ito ay significantly sa storage naman niya. Storage function niya. Okay? So, kapag ka nag-save ka and then kailangan mong i-retrieve yung data, dapat uh, maibigay mo sa kanya. Okay? Ma-i-show nung computing device sa user yung nire-retrieve niyang data. Okay. Um, another concept dito is yung copy-paste. Okay. So, kung ano yung kinapi ng user mo, dapat yun din yung ipipaste mo. Hindi kulang, hindi sobra. Okay? Power of remembering. Okay. Our computers has no IQ. Okay. It is made by human and is manipulated by human. Kung ano man ang kaya netong uh, computing devices natin, yun ay dahil sa um, skills naman na ibinuhos ng ating computer experts. Okay? Kung ano yung uh, mga na-pro-provide ng browsers natin, sa surfings natin, okay, when we connect to the internet, tapos nag-search ka about this thing, um, madami siyang ibinibigay, diba, na information. So, yun naman ay dahil sa gawa din ng computer experts. Yung mga data na naka-store sa kanya. So, hindi sariling utak ng computing devices natin yun, kundi galing pa rin sa tao. Okay? Computers has no feelings. Okay?
okay? It will work until it reach its performance capacity. So, ibig sabihin, um, pwede mo siyang gamitin ng magdamag, okay, ilang araw ng derecho, hindi siya mapapagod. Hindi rin siya magtatampo na uh, lagi na lang akong ginagamit ni user. Okay, wala na akong pahinga. Okay, baka mag-malfunction na ako. So, walang ganong eksena. Okay, so siguro, uh, of course, na-experience naman na siguro nating lahat na masisira yung ating computing devices. Yun naman na ay kung paano na, kung paano i-handle, okay, ng user yung computing device niya. And of course, meron pa rin capacity. Okay, ang components ng ating computing devices, like yung battery. So, siguro, um, in 5 years, in 3 years, so, baka mag-malfunction na siya dahil nga sa katagalan ng uh, ginagamit. Okay. Next, so storage. Okay. It can provide actions done by the user when needed. So, yung mga examples natin kanina sa pagre-retrieve. Okay. And then sa mga commands. Next, how do we classify a computer based on purpose, data handling, and size? Okay. First, let's take um, the classification of computers on the basis of purpose. Okay. A specific purpose computers. Okay. Systems made for a specific work. For example, calculators, ATM machines, kiosk machines. So, ito yung mga computing devices na meron lang siya talagang specific na trabaho. Okay. Calculator, computer yan. So, anong trabaho niya? Mag-compute ng um, operations. Okay? Number operations. Like, mag-a-add siya, mag-subtract, mag-multiply, mag-divide. Okay? May specific work. Sa ATM, okay, ang trabaho niya is ang maglabas ng pera. Okay? So, yung pagtatanong ng mga tao patungkol sa pera nila, okay, doon naman na yun sa loob. So, specific lang talaga siya. Okay. And then, ayan. Uh, maari din nating maging example yung mga computers in the first up to third generation computers. So, nasa module nyo din yan. Ano-ano ang mga yan? Okay. First, yung abacus. Bakit nga ba siya naging computer? Kasi it computes, ayan, dito, arithmetic calculation. So, ginagamit siya dati sa uh, kung paano mag-add. So, merong mga, mga, merong mga uh, steps, okay? Paano gamitin si Abacus for computing numbers? Okay. So, one purpose. Diba? So, ibig sabihin, it belongs to the specific uh, purpose computing devices. Next, Napier's Bones. Okay. Calculating device for multiplication and division operations. So, for numbers ulit. Pascaline, paano siya naging computer? Arithmetic addition and subtraction naman yung purpose niya. Okay. So, dati, uh, during the first, the third, actually, in the third generation of computers, meron ng mga programmable eh. Okay. Pero existing pa rin yung mga ganitong uh, may specific work lang talaga. Okay. Step Reckoner or Leibniz will, okay, a digital mechanical calculator. Okay, so yung ano, um, analog pa, yung mga kanina. And then, ito naman, digital na. So, medyo nag-upgrade na siya. Pero, one purpose pa rin. Calculator pa rin siya. Okay, difference engine designed to solve tables of numbers like logarithm tables. So, bawat uh, generation, okay, meron siyang upgrade. So, from analogs, nagiging digital. And then, nag-a-add din ng uh, functions. Okay? Analytical engine. Capable of solving any mathematical problem and storing information as a permanent memory. Okay? They used punch cards as input. So, eto naman, medyo nag -ma mas broad na yung kanyang function. No? So, sabi dyan, any mathematical problem. So, yung mga nauna kasi for addition and subtraction lang. 
Ayan. And then ito, meron na siyang additional process na kung saan yung input is via pushcards. Pero, um, bilang pa rin siya sa specific purpose group kasi ang purpose lang niya is to solve mathematical problems. Okay. Okay, meron din siyang storing information um, purpose. Pero yun nga, the main purpose is calculation. Next, tabulating machine. It could tabulate statistics and record or sort data or information. Okay, so it is a mechanical tabulator based on punch cards. Ayan, so nag-upgrade ulit siya. Okay, but the main purpose is to tabulate the statistics. Next, differential analyzer. It is an analog device that could do 25 calculations in few minutes. So again, the purpose is calculation pero mas nag-upgrade ulit. Okay? So in one minute daw, kaya na niyang mag-calculate ng 25 set of problems. Okay. Mark 1 is a machine that could perform calculations involving large numbers. Okay, it was the first programmable digital computer. Okay, so ito na, dito na nag-umpisa yung um, existing ng mga programmable computers natin. Okay, so ang upgrade sa kanya is kaya niyang uh, mag-solve ng large numbers. Okay, so dito naman tayo sa general purpose computers. So, belong na dyan ng ating mga computing devices such as laptops, yan, desktops, notebooks, and even smartphones. Kasi hindi na lang itong mga um, ito ha, third to fifth generations computers. So, yung mga programmable computers natin. So, hindi na lang siya uh, basta pang calculate lang ng uh, mathematical problems. Okay? Marami na siyang purpose. Okay? And dyan na yung nakakagawa tayo ng mga documents, nandyan na yung uh, makakapag-communicate na tayo sa mga mahal namin sa buhay. Okay, so um, it is called or it belongs to the general purpose computers. Okay. Ito naman tayo sa data handling. Okay. Analog computer. So, kung napansin nyo, kung nagbasa kayo sa modules niyo yung Sa first generation computers natin, puro analog computers yung mga yun. So, ibig sabihin, those computers uses continuous physical phenomena such as electrical, mechanical, or hydraulic quantities to model the problem being solved. Okay, so meron nga doon yung ano, di ba? Uh, gagana siya kapag merong uh, steam. Uh, yun, yun. So, those are examples of analog computers. Next is digital computer. A computer that performs calculations and logical operations with quantities represented as digits. So, usually in the binary number systems. So, yung mga existing calculators natin ngayon, na kung saan, pipindot na lang tayo ng numero, meron siyang screen. Okay, Mag, uh, magpapakita sa screen yung output ng mga ini-input nating numbers. And even the process calculation. Okay. And of course, itong mga laptops natin, ganyan. Okay. Okay, meron pa tayong uh, pangatlong uh, ano, hybrid computer. So, analog plus digital. A combination of computers, okay, which are capable of inputting and outputting in both digital and analog signals. Okay. The best example there is yung mga vending machine natin sa gasoline station. Okay, di ba kasi ang sistema doon sa fuel vending machine, mag-i-input ka, okay, kung magkano. Tama? And then meron dong um, screen na kung saan show niya yung output ng in-input mo kung magkano, 50 pesos. And then meron ding output for process data na kung saan ilang litro na. Okay, yung um, na ilalagay doon sa vehicle. Okay, paano siya naging analog? Kasi nga, yung fuel. So, gagana, uh, lalabas yung fuel niya with search, um, ito? kasali ang physical phenomena. Okay. Ayan, and also, 
ultrasound machines. Okay. So, uh, meron din tayong tinatawag na super computer. Okay. Which is the most powerful computers characterized as fastest, very high processing speed, and of large data storage. Specifically used for complex applications by big organization. Okay, the best example here is the NASA and ISRO, which uses supercomputers to track and control space discovery. So, behind um, technologies, meron tayong uh, tinatawag na supercomputer which handles the data. Okay, which handles big data. Okay, yung mga um, nakocompute na sa weather forecast, mga ganyan. So, doon siya na i-store. Okay, doon din na ma-manipulate. Ganyan. And then, uh, susunod sa kanya is mainframe computer. It is capable of performing high processing speed and data storage but not powerful as supercomputers. Okay? Wired in air-conditioned rooms. Okay, so example then ISP providers okay use mainframe computers to process information about millions of internet users so yung mga data okay na na input na process okay na output is um, naka depend okay doon sa mainframe computer ng mga internet service providers natin okay Next, we have mini computer. Less processing speed than mainframe computers. Okay, departments of large companies uses this type of computers. And they can handle large database and accounting efficiently. So, for example, the Department of Computer Monitoring, the network traffic of whole company. So, kung yung mga ganong um, data handling na lang, okay, Kayang-kaya na daw ng mini computers. So, kumbaga parang sila yung mga servers. Okay? In data handling. Okay? And then, last, we have the microcomputer or personal computer. Less powerful type of computers but are the most widely used and growing in the fastest rate. Hardware peripherals can be attached easily. Okay, so examples of this microcomputer is our laptops, tablets, mga smartphones natin. So, yung mga small data, okay, so kayang-kaya na nang i-handle, kumbaga, personal data, kumbaga. Okay, pero yung mga nangyayari on cloud, so behind that, ang main server nila is, kumare, uh, yung, uh, hindi na lang siya basta mainframe eh. So, maaaring, ah, hindi na lang siya basta yung mini uh, computer. So, maaaring yung mainframe and even super computers. Okay? Yeah. So, that's it for this chapter. Um, I hope that you have read already the module, no? Bago nyo pa pinakinggan tong lecture na to. Kasi, um, mas maiintindihan nyo yung content ng lectures once nalaman na ninyo kung ano ba yung definition ng mga terms natin na nakapaloob dun sa module ninyo. Okay, so see you in our synchronous meeting for our objective Q&A for this lecture. God bless everyone!